Are we ready, folks? Because this is going worldwide. Yeah, we're ready. <laughs> Orlang is an Angus word we discovered, which appears in the 1808 Etymological Dictionary by Jimison. So it means year long. So we're quite excited. Orline basically is a new project, it's a development of the Living Voices model which was piloted by the Scottish Poetry Library and the team developed a way of working with the support of the Scottish Storytelling Centre and the Scottish Poetry Library to bring song, story, poetry, image, artefact and use that in a themed way to curate a conversation, we got talking to Mo here about the idea of taking that model and having a professional artist work so that I would kind of set the scene of the conversation, set the theme and that then Maureen would work in a visual art way and a tactile art way to make this kind of high, high quality work with the people who are living with dementia. Every month I'll bring some songs and we always start with a marker song as well, the circle game, and that's a way of the markers like starting, like we do that every, every time. Because I'm a traditional singer, I bring songs from the area, but also, you know, songs that people will have known in their younger day or that they like. I try and make the connections with that as well. That the really important thing has been the fact that it's an orientation exercise and that it's so important for people who are living with dementia to understand you know, what, what season we're in, what month we're in, what's happening right now. Some of the um, workshops, certainly the last workshop we did, we kind of did a more kind of discursive journey through the theme of December. And what was happening was we were all just bursting into songs we and were singing, singing and carols working and, thing, yeah. and working and mm -hmm. how much is that dog in the window mm -hmm. and all sorts of nonsense. And actually, I think that's a really, really lovely mm -hmm. way of engaging with community singing. And mm -hmm. it felt very relaxed, felt lovely, didn't it? Yeah, it was very nice. And obviously that has lots of health benefits just in terms of lung capacity and... Uh, lowering blood pressure and all that kind of stuff. And that sense of a shared activity is just so lovely. You just feel together with people, don't you, when you're, when you're singing a song? Uh, there were one, there was two, there was three paper spells, there were four, there were five diamond stars, diamond stars, and one final rainbow. And I also try and introduce lots of different kind of techniques, sometimes using paint, we've done etchings, uh, we've done bookmaking, we've done clay work as well, willow work, uh, we've worked with fabric, so hopefully there's, there's always a new stimulation, there's always something that, that we can attach some previous knowledge from some of our members as well mm -hmm. that they can adapt to, but it's been fantastic. Having worked with Living Voices, to curate a conversation and do song making. It's great that, that you wanted to get involved and that we would work on art and bring that in like um, as an outcome. We always knew the potential. We always knew that it would, that it would work, but trying to get it to, to work together has been difficult sometimes, but also it's been easy um, in different ways as well. It's, been, you know, it's all come together really well. And mm -hmm. when you see the exhibition up like this, it's pro proven to us um, how well we've done. In terms of the members who've got involved, we've discovered that they've got, they've got skills, they've got lots of information, lots of knowledge, and they've been able to mm. sort of share that together. Yeah. And I think people have really enjoyed sitting around the mm. table and, and then remembering, you know, the man with the claw, Hamer Jacob. Oh, Hamer we've Jacob. even had, you know, people just like making up stories that seem mm. to come from some fragment of what we've mm. spoken about the month. Mm. Before, it's fascinating. Mm. I was burking hair. Yeah. That's, the boys, that's, the, that's the boys that used to go and watch stealing bodies out of the graves and all that. That's what they had on. Did they? 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 The reading out loud of poetry. People have gained a lot of confidence mm -hmm. from that. And some people that have been resistant to to read out, very often, will just take part as the book's been passed round. 
and um, and all of a sudden they've they've read a part and it's it's amazing. It's absolutely incredible. Mm. Absolutely brilliant, and that gives them loads of confidence as well. The crystal waters gently fall. The merry boards our lovers are. I scented breezes round him blow, a gardener with his puddle. When purple morning starts the hair to steal upon her early fear, then through the dews he mun repair, the gardener with his puddle. This is another land. Birches entice with shivering light, then ghost their way down storybook paths, a land of small compass, each speckled glade a ferny room, tufted with grass, freckled with celandine, and roofed in green and gold, a shadowed land of shapeshifters, green lady and little folk, brownie and sprite, that rustle in the leaf mould, the air is so soft and sweet. Lovely. Do I get well paid? <laughs> Could I get paid? Do you get the And I know that, that members that come in to see the exhibition as well, they'll remember little bits and pieces about it, they'll remember paintings, but they'll also think that they're in an exhibition in a, that's, that's full of artists and, and then they identify themselves as, as mm. an artist. It's quite incredible. I think people are looking around going, this is gosh, amazing. I would love to do this, yeah, yeah. you know, and are very impressed by the standard of the work and are surprised when you see mm -hmm. people who are living with dementia. Mm -hmm. So we are, we are mm -hmm. working against the stigma. Yeah. It's definitely the kind of place that people feel that they can pop in and join in um, because it's, it's not a scary place at all, is it? Mm. It's full of really, really friendly, talented people that have still got a lot of their lives to live. It feels great just to be able to facilitate the fact that people we work with have a sense of their worth, a sense of their status. It's going to be really important to, to bring our project right into the, the centre of the centre, if you like. We are hoping that we're going to be able to train some of the volunteers as well. We're going to encourage more of the volunteers to take part in the activities. Hopefully that might be something that they can, if they're confident in a particular technique that we, that we do, for instance, that they might lead a um, project, similar project, with another group of, of members. We've had lots of different ideas for themes for different months, and so we'll, we'll have a think about how we will interpret the calendar, whether we work to seasons, and maybe do some, maybe some bigger pieces, and also maybe looking to see who, you know, looking from, you know, who we have that we're working with at any given time, and perhaps what their life story or their life skills suggest in terms of that, because mm. we have done that to an extent with the agricultural year, mm. but I think we'll try to roll that out as well to make it even more of a connection, an individual sort of personal centred connection. And we've got funding for a further three, three years. years, so thanks so much to the RS Macdonald Charitable Trust for that. We love what we're doing and we love the fact that you seem to get what we're doing as well. Thank you. <laughs>